All right, our last comedian for tonight served in the U.S. Coast Guard, so I'm so glad to have the Coast Guard guardians in the audience. He served for 16 years. 16, stop laughing. He served for 16 years. Now he's a proud husband and father of three. Please give it up for Mike Lake. <laughs> And now I'm stuck up here. <laughs> you, you run off stage one time in rehearsal and they take away your mobility aids. But uh, seriously, it was, I was the one co that was yelling earlier because there's nobody else here. Um, so yeah, with the mobility aids, uh, learned a lot about people with those. And what I've learned is most people have no clue how to respond around them. Like, People will jump away like I'm wearing a bomb vest. I'm like, hey, <laughs> you're five feet over there, you're not in my way, you're fine. And then, I appreciate help, I do. I, I, I like people being courteous, getting doors is great. But if you're like 20 feet behind me, and you have to run and bump into me to get to the door, I could have managed, <laughs> you know? Uh, also, people are under this mission impression that you have to like be paralyzed to use a wheelchair because I do use a wheelchair for longer distances or when I would end up having to stand for a long time so when I get back to like to my car and I stand up I always get dirty looks from people like I was cheating <laughs> like you know I it probably comes from the kids at Walmart that I'll use little power carts but um <laughs> so whenever I see that look I'm like it's a miracle <laughs> shuts them up every time so, uh, you know, and going along with all this, I see doctors a lot. And when you see doctors a lot, you kind of start to get bored. And boredom is a very dangerous thing, as we all should know, especially those of us who are in the military. So I started kind of messing with the doctors, and it doesn't usually work out well. I had some electrodes put into my back to try and like block the pain signals. Now, it's supposed to be like a gentle tingling sensation. <laughs> So when the technician was getting ready, she's like, okay, I'm going to turn it on now. They're like, okay, all right, all right, it's on. <laughs> she didn't find it that funny. Um, another one, uh, it had some, like an ingrown finger, and I don't remember exactly, this is driving me nuts. Okay, had, so she like cut my finger, and it started bleeding. She's like, oh, that looks like a lot of blood. I was like, did I forget to mention I'm a hemophiliac? Bing. She didn't find that funny either. Uh, but you know, doctors, doctors have their own way of getting back at us. A and it's called side effects, right? They love medication. A and I really think like med medicine researchers like sit around trying to figure out ways to, to like mess with people because when you get to the point where they're getting prescriptions to handle the side effects of the original prescription, kind of went too far. And also, some of these are, it's really ridiculous. Okay, example. Medication for antidepression, right? But they noticed it tended to help people quit smoking. But my question is, okay, here's your side effects list for this medication. Irritability, decreased, decreased appetite, no, increased appetite, sorry. Increased appetite and anxiety. Last I checked, that's pretty much golden cold turkey, isn't it? <laughs> You know, and drug commercials, they really kill me. You know, I'm gonna make up a drug here for a non-existent ailment like 90% of the drug commercials have. So let's just say massive ear hair. So they'll show this guy in a bar with like rhinoceros horns coming out of the side of his head and he's all alone and sad. And then he goes home, talks to his doctor, has the, you know, that talk with the doctor. Doctor prescribes him, the rhinoceros horns fall off, he goes back to the bar and he's like surrounded by 10 supermodels. Right there you know that, that there's a problem with the whole commercial thing because that only happens in the Viagra commercials. <laughs> and then you, at the very end of the commercial, you get that little voice. Possible side effects include nosebleeds, loss of hearing, loss of all bodily hair, death. It, I'll, I'll just shave, guys. I don't need a medication for that. It, and you know, medications are dangerous anyway. And there's, 
there's a much safer alternative out there. The VA's kind of starting to get the message on it, and hopefully it will be you know, broadened out because there's far less serious side effects with medical marijuana. So I'm just gonna pick a random medication like opioid pain relievers and compare the side effects with those with medical marijuana. So if you forget a dose of an opioid pain reliever, you're gonna have chills, nausea, it's gonna be like the worst flu you've ever had, you're gonna be totally miserable. You miss a dose of medical marijuana, you talk a little bit less, and that idea that you had for an ice cream cone delivery drone, <laughs> it's not that brilliant. It was brilliant, but it's not now. So, all right, now let's flip to the other side of this coin with the overdose potential. All right, now let's say you're not like Gertrude and you don't separate your things in the bathroom and your medications look a lot alike, the bottles look a lot alike. So if someone were to accidentally get a hold of, you know, your opioid pain relief, they could overdose, right, your, op your op opioids. Side effect there is death. <laughs> but if uh, they get a hold of your medical marijuana stash, which I don't have because it's not legal in Virginia, but if they did, what's the worst thing that would happen if they overdosed? You'd end up having to go grocery shopping a few days earlier. <laughs> and she would finally admit that that ice cream going delivery drone was a good idea. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Comedy boot camp. You people get ready to laugh. <laughs> <laughs>